Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So this could happen at any time in se September. Please keep your mind open if it doesn't resonate the first day that you watch it. This is a preview of what's to come. So let's just see what we got. What do we have for Leo for the month of September? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You see that flipped out. It flipped out for a reason. It is time. It's time for you to retreat, to disconnect, to go within. Maybe you, you know, if you have a partner, maybe you take a little vacation with that partner. There they are. There they are. Three cards for Leo. I forgot to get these out. I did my daily and took them away. So what do we have for Leo? Ooh, well, family wishes come true. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. Tent, temporary situation. So you must be in a temporary situation, but things are going to get better. Things are going to get better because you're going to gain honor and respect and family wishes are going to come true. But with this retreat card, you probably need to disconnect. Retreat reminds me of the hermit card. It reminds me of going within, you know, to heal and... Uh, Reconnect with yourself or your partner if you are in a relationship. You do have a wish that is being granted. You are respected, but you are in some sort of temporary situation. Okay, that, I mean, this tent, a tents, they go up and they come down. So this, you're in a situation that isn't going to last. Maybe you're in hermit mode if you're single. I don't know. You're in a situation with, that is temporary. So let's find out what this is. Things are going to change. You can't, you can't, you, this isn't going to be forever. Something, it isn't going to be a forever situation. What do we have for Leo? A wish is being granted. I mean, a wish is about to be granted. I mean, ha. Huh. Four of Pentacles, that is stubbornness. This is a miser, somebody that is very stubborn, very greedy, selfish. That's not you, right? Typically, I mean, you're very generous. Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands is somebody who acts without thinking. Act now, think later. But this is somebody that is materialistic, and you are materialistic. Even though you're typically very generous, you're also materialistic. You are. And I don't care if you like me. Um, so this is act now, think later. You need to let something go. You need to let something go that you are holding on to. Stop thinking about it. Just let it go. We talked about this already. Four of Wands. Now, this is a celebration. It's a commitment. It's happiness. You may be attending some sort of celebration this month. If you are single and you go to a party, there could be somebody that uh, you connect with. Put it that way. You could be connecting with somebody all of a sudden. Um, there's dancing here. If you If you go out dancing or something like that, this is somebody flying in. Okay, this is this is somebody entering, somebody that is uh, may not have uh, staying power though, so you do need to be careful. Um, the Knight of Wands is somebody who acts very impulsively. 
very lustful. They may see you as some sort of op. You may have something that they want. So just, I just need to tell you that you need to be aware that so, somebody may be coming towards you. You have something that they want. I don't know what it is. Stability, maybe. Well, that's nothing wrong. Woohoo! The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. Now this is a union. So it is. It's a beautiful union. Look at that. So. It is. That could lead to long-term commitment. Engagement. Some of you may be getting engaged. This could be this could be a ring in somebody's hand if you think about it that way. I mean, I'm serious. And this is very sudden. So somebody could be getting engaged or they could be getting in a commitment. You know, it's it's very, very sudden. This is extremely comfortable, permanent. This is a permanent situation. Remember, I said something is going to change. It has to do with your family. There's a family situation that is, if you've been struggling, you know, I feel like the struggle is about to end. This Ten of Pentacles is uh, financial success. It's permanent. It's long-term uh, stability. Now, if you, you could be, some of you could be getting an inheritance, or money from a family member. Just saying. But this is a union. And this night of this night of uh, wands is uh, very fast moving energy. Something is going to happen very, very fast. Now this is two people coming together that, I mean, this is like... A deep connection it is a deep connection with you are going to be connecting with somebody that uh, you may end up getting married to especially if you're single if you're single you could end up marrying this person things happen very fast but this right here is very stubborn so I'm not sure if you're too stubborn and then here we have a wedding as well so something about marriage here. You may you may be coming together with somebody that you're going to marry. But that right there is a problem. That four of swords. You've got something that is in the way. It could be stubbornness. It could be... Uh, obsession. Resisting change. You know? That is. It's like somebody is obsessed. They are obsessed with... Well, it's money. I mean, that's money. Pentacles are money. They're obsessed. Obsessed with a thing because the Ace of Pentacles is a thing. There's something that you need to let go of so that you can get this wish fulfillment. And I know you don't want to hear that, but that is the truth. Anyhow, this is an upcoming celebration where it's it's like it's really, really fun. There's dancing. There's singing. Uh, you may end up, if you are going to a party, you may end up dancing with somebody. It could be going to an anniversary party. Uh, marriage. What do you call that? Wedding. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now this is giving up independence. If you are single... If you are single, you probably aren't going to be single for much longer. If you are in a coupled relationship, you may be letting go of a of a commitment. Okay, this is uh, this is an ending. Okay, this is an ending or a new beginning of a union. It could go either way. Things happen really, really fast. You have a connection with somebody. And this is a deep connection and there is a lot of attraction. There's a lot of, of passion. It's like a desire. It's like, oh my God. It's That's what it is. It's like, oh my God, this is unreal. But it is real. It's very, very, very real. I think you have somebody here that is uh, very stable, very secure, but also very passionate that is coming into your life. Okay, um, and if whatever is happening, I see comfort, I see happiness, I see enjoyment, and I see uh, alignment. Okay, so you are, this is a dream come true. 
and it really is a dream come true. It's interesting because they always save the best for last, right? And you guys are last. Perhaps this is the last. Anyhow, you have a connection here that is coming in or it's stepping it up to the next level very, 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 very fast. Page of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Don't let it slip away. We may have a woman. We may have a woman because it's right next to the woman. The feminine. Whether it's a man or a woman. Whatever. The feminine that lets it, doesn't put in effort. Or hasn't planned for it. There's lack of planning. Now the page of swords is in reverse is a conflict. It's it's like this is conflict. There's there's it's conflicting messages. You know, it's unexpected conflict. So you may be needing to disconnect to think about a union, to think about your future. This is the nine of pentacles in reversed is uh, insecurity. Somebody may have some sort of insecurities here and they're distrustful. And you definitely need to take action. You now some of you are struggling financially. You may have a f female that is struggling financially. There is, and that's what I feel like this is. I think we have a feminine that is struggling financially and, and can sell something to recover, but they're too stubborn to do so. Very, very fixed, which you are a fixed sign. There's something that you need to let go. Maybe it was something that you inherited from a family member. Maybe it's family money. This is the Nine of Pentacles reversed is... Insecure, need for discipline, refusing to listen. You must take action to bring security to your life. And if that means that you got to let go of something, then you got to let go of something. There's something that you need to let go of, if, especially if you are the feminine watching this. Anyhow, um, the masculine energy is very, very loving. Is very loving, very gentle, very kind. Um, totally not prepared. Not prepared, unprepared. No vision. No vision. The Three of Wands reverse is a lack of vision, uh, not seeing the opportunities. It feels like we have somebody here that is missing a golden opportunity. They're missing an opportunity. Not focusing on the future, living in the present. We have, we have a union here that is coming in very fast. Whoever is coming in is very much in the present. They're, 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 one of them just went out. <coughs> Uh-oh. So something is happening here. There's the loss of a partner or something like that. I gotta have a drink. And that makes sense. <coughs> because somebody is, is too stubborn. Too fixed, too fixed on, <coughs> I don't know, all of a sudden I can't speak. And this is difficulty in communication. No, I haven't been smoking. So it's interesting. Um, the, 
This is unprepared for a loss. This is not stable, insecure. We have a we have somebody here that is very insecure, that is isn't stable, that doesn't take very good care of themselves. Wants to live the high life but can't do it, you know, uh, is living outside of their means. <coughs> maybe out partying, maybe out dancing, having fun, wasting money. <coughs> Crazy. All of a sudden, I'm all choked up. All of a sudden. This is impulsive behavior. Interesting. Interesting. We have impulsive behavior here that is costing somebody money. Unprepared for some sort of big loss. Because, and and you're, you may have to sell something. I think that you are going to have to sell something to recover. I know that's a different story, but, you know, this is your reading for September. There's going to be all different kinds of aspects. There's going to be financial loss here. We have somebody here that is financially unstable, that is very stubborn. You know, very much about, worried about what society has to think. And I think they've been spending money on having fun. With their partner or to find a partner. <laughs> and it feels like they've been acting impulsively. And they are unprepared for a financial loss. But I think together you'll be able to get through this. If you are in a coupled relationship, you will get through this. You will get through. Maybe a family member will help you. Something to do with the family. There's a family here that is supportive. They will support you through whatever this is. You, This is unexpected conflict that you are not prepared for that causes, you know, financial loss. This is a huge loss. And, if it, and it could be a loss of uh, somebody you've been working with or partnered up with. I'm just being honest with you. Could be a family member, could be anybody. I'm totally not prepared. But that Ten of Pentacles is permanency. It's it, it's a permanent success. Long term success and happiness is coming to you. But first, you've got to let go of something that you have been holding on to. And until you do, you are going to continue to be stagnant. <coughs> it's crazy. I got this huge tickle in my throat. What is this Ten of Pentacles? This Ten of Pentacles is materialistic. Materialistic, materialistic. We have a materialistic person here. That is struggling financially because they overspend and they're holding on to something that really doesn't have any value. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is making an offer. Somebody ha can will can give you some money for it. They'll buy it from you. It's time for you to find your your ability to take charge and give it to or sell it to somebody who somebody else. Get rid of it. It's time to be practical. The Page of Pentacles is about practicality. 
This card is about seeing the light and all that is practical and realistic. Somebody is needs to be realistic here. You have an opportunity for success if you can get rid of whatever the hell this is that you're holding on to that is uh, not serving you. It's not really serving you. Act now, right now. Stop thinking about it. You got somebody who, who is going to probably make you an offer. Take it. Take it. Do not waste your time. Don't waste your time. You're going to be made an offer where you get some money. Somebody's maybe offering you, you know, money for something. Take the offer. Because it won't, the offer won't be around for long. If it, you don't take the offer fast, it will slip away. And then you will continue to struggle. Now this could be the sale of a home. Or something like that could be the sale of a home, sale of a car. King of Wands, take action. Just do it. Focus on the future. You don't need to hold on to the past anymore. So anyway, Leo, I feel like you also have a new union here. You or you have a partner that your, you know, your relationship is going to be stepping it up to the next level. Um you could if you are single, you could have somebody coming into your life very very fast. Now, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. This is a partnership. I feel like you are going to be making a sale of some sort or shaking hands with somebody you see the hands I feel like it's shaking hands it may be a love partnership but I don't think it is I mean it could be it could be I feel like this is some sort of sale you're gonna be making a sale you're gonna be signing some sort of agreement partnering up with somebody they're and they're gonna be giving you money it's probably not gonna be the amount that you were looking for but it's going to make you comfortable. It's going to it's going to be, you know, bring you some sort of ease. <clears throat> I think you're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have somebody very very much uh given to take action they're making you some sort of offer take it so i feel as though this month you may in this maybe you need to go on a vacation maybe you take this money and you go on a vacation or you move Something is going out. You saw that one go out. So some of you, um, you know, I don't know if you're going, you gain, you, you lose some, you win some, you gain some, you lose some, something like that. You may be separating from somebody that isn't your person. Just saying, because one of them went out. There is a loss here that you were not prepared for. You need to take action to stop focusing on the past. You should be focusing on the future. Focus on yourself. You don't have anything to prove. It feels like you always want to shine. Yeah, you are ruled by the sun card. You want to shine. 
right? Sometimes being humble is more important than being the center of attention. <clears throat> High Priestess. Time alone. The High Priestess means time alone. It's time to reflect and to receive and take care of yourself. The high priestess is an individual that is self-sufficient. That realizes their goals on their own, by themselves, not with another person. Needs to work, is choosing to work on their spiritual selves. I feel like it really is time for you to disconnect from the world and work on yourself. Stop trying to prove that you have this and have that and all of that. Work on your inner self. Go within. I feel like the universe is telling you to stop holding on to something that is superficial. Sell it. And work on yourself. Deal with your own insecurities. There is no other person in this world that completes you. That is the meaning of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They don't complete you. You complete you. I do believe that this month you are going to receive some sort of um, message that uh, brings you conflict. It's a message that you don't want to hear. I think this message has to do with, you know, uh, this, this loss. I mean, that is a loss. You are going to be letting go of something. And after you do, you're going to need to uh, disconnect from the world and go within and regain your confidence. This is confidence, self-esteem. Raising your vibration. You've been wasting time trying to look a certain way. It's time for you to disconnect from the world and that's what you're going to be doing this month because I feel like the universe is going to take something away that you've been holding on to. Good luck. <laughs>